Hello friends, welcome back and welcome to the video tutorial of radio.net. In this video, we are going to study a connection object. Okay? So, as we saw in an introductory lecture, that connection object is used to connect with a database. So, let us see some information about connection object and then we will establish a connection practically. So, what connection object does? It provides connectivity with your database. Instead of database, again you can say data source because data source is quite wide term. It means database also and XML also. Now, once the connection can be connect, once the connection can be made, then it is open so that we can execute commands on that database. Okay, so it is very much necessary to have a connection object whenever you are using database connectivity. Now, for each data provider, there is SQL connection as well as OLEDP connection. As I told you, I am going to cover only two data provider that is SQL Server data provider and OLEDP data provider. That's why I uh, specified these two uh, connection objects only. Okay, so a data provider for SQL Server data provider, we will use SQL connection class and for OLEDB data provider, we are going to use OLEDB connection class. Okay. Now, how connection is established? See, first of all, you have to instantiate a connection class. Means you will create an object of connection class. Then you will set a connection string, which is very important. Once connection string is set, you will open the connection. Once the connection is open, you will execute different commands. Okay, so you can retrieve the information, you can manipulate the data on the database, and once you're done with all the operation, you will close the connection. So remember this thing whenever you are using a connection class. Now let us see the classes that are going to be used. Okay. So the first one is SQL connection class. If you are using Microsoft SQL Server 7.0 or greater, okay. And for other databases like Microsoft Access, Oracle, or old version of SQL Server, you will use OLE database connection, OLE DB data, OLE DB connection. Okay. So here I will show you how to connect with SQL Server database using SQL connection and how to connect with Microsoft Access Database using OLEDB connection. Okay. Now before that, let us see some important methods and properties. See, these two are the important methods of connection class that is open and close. Once we create a connection class, we have to open a connection. Otherwise, we cannot execute the command on the database. And once we're done with the connection, once we're done with all the operation, we have to close the connection. Now, the most important property of connection class is connection string. Now what this connection string contains? It contains all the initialization information that is passed as parameter from the data provider to the data source. Now what it means? See, whenever you are using SQL Server database, when you open it, it will ask you to enter the username and password. Okay. So whenever we are connecting from VB or from .NET to database same information i need to be passed right so all this information is specified or initialized in connection string okay now let us see it practically now here i am using uh, visual studio 2013 community express edition okay if you have lower version or greater version there might be a little bit differences okay so we are going to see the connection class using vb.net first and then uh, I'll create a separate video tutorial for c sharp.net users also. Okay. Now, here I created one window application and there is one by default form. Okay. Now, this is your solution explorer. This is your form. Toolbox is present here. Even your server explorer is also there. Okay. But before writing a code, let us create a database of database first in SQL Server. Okay. 
so here i open a sql server the initial in, in in the initial screen as you can see here it is prompting you to enter the server name authentication mode etc etc so whenever you are installing a sql server express edition at that time your server name is always dot slash sql express okay for express edition remember this thing then uh, your authentication is window authentication okay and while installing if you specified the sql server authentication then choose it here in in my computer i install it, it install it using window authentication so that's why i'm choosing window authentication if you are uh, set sql server authentication option in that case you have to enter username and password also okay so i'll choose window authentication then say connect now here on database you have to right click over here and say new database okay whenever you want to create a new database now specify the database name here say adio test db okay say okay now time being i'm just going to create a database only okay i'm not going to create a table and we'll just test whether the database is created or not as you can see here to get created right hmm? now let us switch to our code okay now here we are just going to write one simple code whenever let me put one button here let me put one button here and let us call it let us change its caption i am just switching to property window i am changing its caption say connect to sql server okay connect to sql server okay and let me name it so i specify the name btn sql so whenever i click over here okay i should get a pop up message that your connection is successful or if not it will show me the error message now i have to write a code on the on the click event of button so just double click over here to switch to code window okay now let me hide this first okay as i told you we have to import the name spaces two important name spaces so imports system dot data and another one is imports system dot data dot sql client because we are connecting with sql server data provider now here i have to create a object of connection class since i am using sql server data provider i have to create a class of sql connection okay so since it is class i have to say cn as new sql connection now the next important thing is i have to set a connection string now how to get a connection string accurately or error free now in that case what you have to do just open this server explorer hmm? if the server explorer is not open here suppose it is not present here in that case you have to go to view menu and you have to search it here okay so so it is here sql server explorer okay now you have to keep your cursor here on data connection and click on this button that is connect to database okay you have to click here if you are using older version then you have to right click over here on connection and then you have to say new connection now since i am using visual studio 2013 and that's why i am using this option connect to database 
so once you click over here it will allows you to select a data source now let us see what can be the data sources see sql server then access database file odbc file okay so we are going to connect with sql server that's why i chose microsoft sql server so now let us type a server name so what is our server name as i told you it is sql express now once you add it you have to choose the authentication mode which is window or sql server authentication see if you remember first of all we created a sql server database okay and while creating a database we choose window authentication so same thing i have to select here now your database name get populated here your database name get populated here and we created adio test db so just select it and say test connection say test connection is succeeded say okay hmm. now what you have to do just select this can this part and open the property window or pr press f4 to open a property window hmm. now here you have to place a cursor here click over there and copy this connection string okay so i'll i say control c and then i'll put it here control v so in this way you'll get a exact connection string now here data source is what your sql express this is nothing but your server name this is your server name dot slash sql express initial catalog is adio test db and since we are using window authentication integrated security is true if you are not using a window authentication in that case you have to specify username is equal to something semicolon password is equal to something okay now let us put this part in try catch block okay here now i'll say cn dot open cn dot open and if our connection gets successfully open i'll show the message using message box so message box dot show sorry connected successfully okay and if there is an exception we'll show the message message box dot show sorry try again okay now in a finally block i will close the connection because finally block get executed after try also and catch also now let us run this form okay and try to execute it okay now my form get executed now let us click over here and let us see what is the message yes connected successfully okay now let us do some mistake in our connection string so i'll specify something different name of my database okay i said adio test db1 and let us run and check again now it is taking time also and it is showing the error message that is sorry try again because may exception get raised and it will it will be in a catch uh, catch block and your our catch block is showing this message okay now let us try to connect with access database okay before that uh, before writing a code we will create a access database first so here i open a access software now click over here open a blank database here you have to choose a path okay so let me specify a proper path so we can remember this also so let us say adio db let us say adio db so this file get created say create 
so my database is also get created again here also we are not going to create any table we will see that part later we are, our focus is to connect to the database only okay so let me close this now as we are in vb okay let me put one more button so that will connect to access so let us give a nice name to it and nice caption also so let me open a property window connect to access okay and my button name is btn access now let us write a code on this now since we are connecting to oledb data provider i have to import that namespace also so i'll say imports system dot data dot oledb okay now again the code will be same hmm? since we use this cn variable locally i cn object locally i can use the same same object here also so deem cn as new this time oledb connection this time oledb connection now here you saw that we created a object then we set the property now you can create a you can set a connection string uh, in constructor also you need not to specify it as a separate property uh, we'll see how to set the connection string in a constructor okay so here you have to specify the connection string in double quote now let us see how to get a accurate connection string for access now open a server explorer again click over here connect to database now this time your data source get change now it is access database file select it okay now as you can see here data source get changed to oledb now you have to browse here file so we kept in this folder d adio net vb okay so let me select this hmm? we didn't set any password for it so just keep that field or keep it blank and say test connection so it gets succeeded say okay okay now again click over here and press f4 or open property window hmm? click on the connection string copy the connection string using control c and paste it here control v okay now you got a connection string now here there is a provider part because oledb provider is common for multiple oledb database so you have to uh, the provider for each database is different sql connection is specially designed for sql server database okay so there is no complexity of provider here hmm? so here with the help of provider we specify that we are using microsoft access database and in data source the name of our file along with a path is specified okay so you can use connect uh, con uh, specify the connection string in constructor also or you can separately sim uh, similarly you can create a connection string separately also cn dot connection string is equal to this particular part assigned to the connection string property both are valid way okay just i am showing you the alternative again i put this part in try catch block i'll open a connection i'll show a message that connection connected successfully and if exception occur or if there are some error while connecting to the database we will show the sorry message and in the finally block we will close the connection okay now let us try to run this connected successfully to access i'll just specify this message that will be not confusing and let me correct this error okay db now let us run this 
so connect to axis okay connected successfully to axis hmm. now let us do some mistake here so instead of this 12 i'll make it 1 and let us try again to so connect to axis so it is showing sorry try again hmm. so if your connection string is not in proper way okay or is not accurate in that case there are chances that it will generate a generates an exception so i just show you how to get a connection string accurately using server explorer okay so just follow the same method definitely in examination you have to learn it okay and then after you have to write it but while doing it practically try to get it from a server explorer so it will be definitely accurate i hope you enjoy this part if you are if you like this video uh, and if you want to see more videos and get notification of the same please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon thank you